uh, today we're going to look at uh, velocity, uh, relative velocity. Yeah. So for an example, we have uh, two wheels uh, live simultaneously from a fork in a, a road. Will, uh, okay, will A travel at a velocity of 85 kilometers per hour northeast? Then uh, will B travel at 104 kilo, uh, is a kilometer per hour directly west? So then the question said calculate the, uh, the velocity of the wheel A relative to the velocity of wheel B. So uh, in, in this case we have to um, resolve this in a diagram. So uh, in the diagram we have wheel A that has traveled uh, northeast. So uh, if wheel A travel in, in northeast in a velocity of 85 uh, kilometers per hour, then uh, will be is traveling uh, west, uh, directly west. And so that means we have a uh, directly west, which is uh, 104 kilometers per hour. Uh, then uh, we have to resolve this in a parallelogram method. So you can remember uh, who in N, N2 we used uh, to resolve to solve a uh, relative to solve a. Uh, the resultant velocity of our uh, two uh, components using parallelogram. So uh, in this case, we're going to uh, make uh, this line, which is, uh, let's name this one uh, B, then uh, this one is A. Then, uh, then we have uh, this line, uh, which is uh, number A, and this one is number so then uh, the relative uh, velocity as uh, the line uh, inside between these uh, two lines. So there we have uh, this one is our relative velocity. So uh, then if uh, this uh, is moving directly, uh, we a move uh, not well as not east, directly not east. That means it's in between uh, 90, which is the end that here is equals to 45. And then uh, this line is parallel to. This line is still and uh, here the other angle is 45. So uh, if we have to uh, resolve, uh, we want to uh, the, the resultant uh, velocity. So we have to use the cosine uh, rule. So uh, the cosine rule uh, requires you to have a uh, two side and an angle. So we have uh, the side of uh, B, then we have the side of A, then uh, an angle of 45. So then that means our relative velocity, relative velocity will be equal to uh, the square root of uh, of a, which is a squared plus uh, b squared minus uh, two a multiplied by b cos uh, then an angle of this one, which is uh, this angle, which is uh, cos forty five. Okay. So then. Our answer here we have to substitute then our relative velocity. Then a is equal to 85. Then a is equal to 85 plus uh, b is equal to 104 squared minus uh, 2 multiplied by a, which is 85 multiplied by b is 104 uh, cos 45. Cos 45. And then uh, we have a derivative. Then there is a turn of velocity, which is that the relative velocity, the relative velocity uh, of uh, wheel A relative to uh, velocity number B. So then our answer is supposed to. So. Okay, so then our answer is equal to uh, 74 point. Uh, 74.427 kilometers per hour. So remember, in this case, we have to solve the magnitude and the direction also. So this one is the magnitude of the resultant velocity or the relative velocity. And we have to solve the magnitude. The magnitude, that means we have to calculate the angle, which is at this angle. Now the angle, I just said this is the angle theta. So the angle is, this angle will determine uh, the 
uh, the, the direction of the of this uh, resultant velocity. So, uh, to in order to find uh, the resultant uh, the angle of the resultant velocity, we have to use the, the sine rule. Now, so the sine rule is equal to a sine. So then, the sine rule uh, we have we must have uh, two side and an and an angle. Two side and an in angle. So then, uh, to find uh, this uh, side, we go to say this one is this a sine r over. And then the angle of this one is 45. So, so it's cos 45 is sine 45, then an R which is that is number of 74.427. Then it's equal to uh, sine sine R uh, which we are looking for at this sine now, which is a sine, let's say the sine theta over uh, this uh, side which is um, a, a is 85 and then we have 85 so to find uh, this theta we are going to say uh, sine sine theta is the first to uh, then we cross multiply we will have 85 uh, sine sine 45 over uh, 74.427 and then we find theta theta will be equal to the inverse of uh, the side over uh, 85, uh, say 85, side 45 over 7, 4.427. Then our uh, angle will be equal to, then our angle will be equal to 58.85. So uh, then, if we have uh, this 55.85 degrees, remember that we are looking for uh, the, the we are calculating the velocity of our uh, wind A uh, relative to wind number B. So that means uh, we are calculating from here into uh, this case. Then, uh, if we have our answer, then our answer is. Uh, our angle is more than uh, 45. So in this case, we are starting here with north. Man. So uh, here is 45, but if we are above 45, that means uh, our, our, our direction will take uh, west uh, to uh, north. So this side is going to be the west uh, of north. So our relative uh, velocity is equal to uh, 75 point, uh, 74.42 seven kilometers per hour uh, in the direction of uh, the south or oh, in the direction of west seven fifty eight point eight five eight two north okay yeah. Press. Press.